few days staying here in Hynoka in eastern Poland and the place we are staying at doesn't have a gym we're gonna find one in town here at apartment block 22 is this the main entrance hell yeah gym in a basement I really love it who needs windows man when you're working out nice the locker here nice i like that and okay thank you so working out here is 15 slides that's about three and a half euros so there we go got my gym in here big towns small cities if you search, you will find, and that's what I want to keep on doing. So uh, it was a good arm day. I think it's nice to have spent a few nights here among these uh, older apartment blocks that I keep seeing uh, everywhere. Really gives you a bit more of that uh, genuine local Polish feel. We're leaving in direction of uh, Lithuania. But first, that rear tire has been really worn out. Yeah. got to replace it. Yeah. It's another departure day, eh? We're gonna leave Hanoka. No, no. You got it packed up here, almost. First we go to the lake and then Biaustok. No, there's a Biaustok. What is it? Ready to roll out? She's got the helmets. Goodbye, honey. Does he die, yeah? Yeah. Well, bye, Intercom. Still singing that same tune. Cheers, mate. Of course, we're pretty much still in uh, National Park. Biaoyo, 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 Viesia. There's still a lake a bit up north called uh, Jezioro Simaniowski. Simaniowski. Wee, wheelie. Let's -a go. Get your motor running. Lots of popo -po today. Second or third, I see. But then again, this is also a customs region, right? Close to the Belarusian border. And we're here in Simanyovka by the lake, but they have this massive train yard. That makes sense, because on the other side of that lake bridge is the border with Belarus. So maybe the tracks don't match. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So you gotta switch trains and whatnot. Hold on. This is the lake. Yeah. Oh, but it's pretty much, it's land. It's mostly land still. It did look like that on the map. But yeah, it's like a sandbank through to the river. I wonder if they made that or if it was already here, sort of. This is the train line to Belarus, where all the freight happens in between Poland and that country. You got distracted there by a little something? Anything interesting about this uh, milestone? <laughs> so these concrete walls continuing here around the bend beyond the railroad had me thinking, what, is it a real lake? Turns out it is an artificial lake, one of the biggest ones, ones in uh, Poland. And uh, it also provides, uh, I think still, uh, the drinking water for Białstok. It's pretty massive. We're gonna follow it a bit westward. There's more of this. I'm going to the beach. Drop it. This looks like the beach beach. Hmm. Of course, it's a lake. Why was I expecting it Baltic blue? I'll give you a push. Hold on. Yes. I'll give you a push. 
Turn around like this. There you go. Bon voyage. Do we done ya? Yeah, we stuck. There we go. Alright, let's see what we can uh, find out here. Popolski and Gersku, German would be English. Pedro. Pablo. Pablo, yes. nice to meet you. So it's a 17 and a 130, 140. Do you guys have tires? We have some. If not, you have to order. Yeah, so that's a, yeah, like, how fast is the order? Uh, it would be today, could be tomorrow. You know, nowadays it can be hard to find the, the 17. Oh, that's the battle axe, the Bridgestone. 18, this is uh, 18 or 18, 19, 19, uh, 18, yeah. 18. One word. What? Klotzak. Klotzak, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How many friends? Like, there's lots of Polish people in yeah. the Netherlands, right? Yeah. yeah. So he has a vocabulary. Klotzak. Kuyen is mean good, yeah? Kuyen dach is dzień dobry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Kuyen in Polish is cock. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here with Pavel going through some tires. It, today he doesn't have anything here, but guaranteed tomorrow. And look at this, there's a, they have tractionators, but they're very off-road oriented. But that's the tire I wanted last year. He's calling the boss right now, uh, discussing the price. Tomorrow Saturday. Oh yes, it's the Sava. No, to check out what you do to make this work. I thought it was Friday tomorrow. Also Peter. Yes. Pedro. Okay. <laughs> Everyone's Peter. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. You need the tire, yes? You're the boss, man. Uh, yeah, well, we were Probably looking. Probably me. <laughs> <laughs> the Mitos EO7 Plus, because I know I'm not a big fan of the standard, but the Plus, I've always wanted to try it, and there's a lot of contact patch, and I'm not going to do the Ralsey. I'm trying to get connection with the with the road. I have a good idea. It's a good band. It's a good band. He used to work ten, ten years. How long in the in the in Netherlands gewerkt? Nee, in uh, Belgium. België, Antwerp. Ten. Ten years. Ten years. Yeah. yeah. Back since 2000. Back in Poland. Yeah, 20, 22 years ago. Cheers. To retire. I'm hyped to try out a new one. It's always fun. Oh, I had to stop myself from getting that tractionator. Smaller blocks, little contact patch. In the Baltics, it's bound to rain again, so I'm gonna be smart about about it. There's guys right now watching who just love watching me go. All the off-road stuff is like, they're like, oh my god, oh. What happened, boys? You put foot pegs on the thing. Thank you for the coffee, Peter. No problem. We got a place. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Get a nice uh, tire on there. What kind Are you, of place? You even got the Senseo. You yeah. know, that's very, that's Not very Dutch, eh? <laughs> Tot morgen. Tot morgen. Tot ziens. Tot ziens, yeah. See you later. My wife working Philips, that's why we have... Ah, uh, well, you got the discount. Yeah, Philips has the discount store. Yeah. I have family who works in Philips in also. In so, uh, that's a night in Bialstok that we knew was an option. So uh, let's run our errands and uh, I don't know, maybe have a look at the place. Jendore. So something here on the corner. It's the caravan. Hey. Here we go. Hey. You'll love it. Do you have something to carry uh, upstairs? Because I have two hands empty. Oh, that's that's very nice. Be, in Białstok, everybody's speaking English here, you know? It's oh, nice. Lucky you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, no, Because man. South Africa can find people who, like, uh, what? Get up. Adam's your name, eh? Adam. Nice. Oh. And your? Pedro. Pedro. All right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I want to get the same offer. Bravo. We just talked about you. <laughs> my wife, my wife Sandra. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Uh, Light on. Oh, Jen Kuei. Here's your plate, plates, pots, everything. Pan. Yeah. And the questions. No, that's it. Oh, yeah, just uh, the Wi-Fi and then Wi-Fi. Uh, I print passwords. Oh, it's good. Look at here. 
here, motorcycle. Perfect. Beautiful day, lively streets. Oh, we finished the errands for today. We got a tire coming, should be sorted tomorrow. Got a place to stay. And still some time to check out the center here in Bialstad. It is uh, one of the smaller cities in Poland, population-wise that is, like top 10. But apparently it's one of the most densely populated cities. Yeah, so for the time being, if all goes well, this city looks like the farewell song. Again, for the time being, here in Poland. Because going north, it's about 150 kilometers tops border of Poland and Lithuania and that is uh, where we will be heading next on this journey by the Baltic Sea so coming through farming in the city Białystok now of course the place where we can find Mariska is uh, here by the palace gardens because that's the nearest place with nature so it's her natural refuge when she hits a city. Noise. So what is this here? Um, well, it's like the Versailles of um, Poland. The Versailles of Poland. So Park Braniki. This here is called the Versailles of Poland. No one can understand I have been to Versailles. And though not as big, it's still something very relaxing about the gardens. That's why you came out here, huh? Immediately attracted to all the trees. So building of this commenced uh, midway uh, 18th century. So it uh, makes perfectly sense that uh, it has all these high peak French society elements from that time as uh, the French back then still dominated continental Europe. So here you see Atlas carrying the weight of the world on his shoulders while our atlas carries the weight of my sorry bum around the world this uh, Bialystok is uh, turning out to be a lot more uh, what would you say relaxed than, uh, than I had expected look who's here also it's our friend Joe Bison Zubre and we end the day here by another monument commemorating the troublesome past and struggle of Poland erected here this monument in name of the fallen of the city of Białystok. Later it was changed to commemorate all the fallen and murdered even in Poland and even later the inscription was put on the monument God honor and homeland and then was still added independence and of course once more <laughs> in Poland you are reminded of that past that with every passing year seems a bit longer ago but it's interesting you know because you go through this nice little town center with this beautiful park but uh, you're easily reminded all of a sudden of the harder days. But maybe that's also a page that Poland is turning, you know. Because these monuments at the end of the day, you can see they're showing their age. And uh, I think they've been moving on here. Hello. And on that historic note, we end this nice day here in Białystok. Tomorrow, we get the tires sorted. So we can uh, get back on the road again. See you in the next one, folks. Ciao.